so when you get your semaglutide, this is what's going to come with your medication. We have our vial of medication, um, some alcohol pads, and also some insulin syringes. If you're picking up from our office, it's important to note that your insulin syringe will be a 100 unit insulin syringe. So each line on the syringe is two units of measurement. If you are getting it directly from the pharmacy and having it shipped to your home, your insulin syringe may be a 50 unit insulin syringe. The 50 unit insulin syringes, each line is worth one unit. So it's just important to note the differences in the insulin syringes and the dosing. So what we wanna do when we are ready to dose is make sure that our hands are nice and clean. We are gonna take our alcohol swab and just swab off the top of that vial of medication. We wanna save the alcohol. You're gonna use it to wipe your belly to get ready to inject. The stopper comes off the top of that insulin syringe. And then there's the needle that we use, very small needle. We're gonna hold our medication upside down to get all of the liquid into that stopper. Where we're aiming for is this little round circle in the middle of that stopper. If you hit resistance going in, you'll wanna just pull back. It probably just means that you've gone in a little sideways and maybe gone into the stopper. Um, just pull back gently and reinsert your needle. So we're gonna put it right in. And then when we pull back the medication, we're just gonna do it slowly and you may or may not be able to see that air bubble forming in the top of that syringe. Air bubbles are normal. We're gonna pull back more than we need, okay, to dose. So we're starting off everybody with six units of the medication, which on this 100 unit syringe is going to be to the third line. So what I'm gonna do is gently push up on that stopper. All the air may or may not go back into the vial and that's okay. We're gonna stop at the 10, go to the eight, and that is the six. That is essentially the amount of medication that we are injecting for the first time. So while you have your syringe like this, you're gonna alcohol off your belly, which is going to be about two to three inches away from your belly button on either side. You can inject in the thighs as well. If you're more comfortable doing that, most patients inject in the belly. We're gonna wipe off that area with an alcohol swab, and you're just gonna kind of pinch that pinchable fat that we have um, while you kind of hold the medication like this. You don't wanna put your finger on that plunger as you're injecting because we wanna wait until that needle is buried into the skin uh, before we administer the injection. So you're just going to go straight in to your abdominal tissue and once it's all the way buried, you're gonna take your finger and just plunge that down slowly. You can leave the needle in your skin for a few seconds. You can count to three if you want, and then withdraw the needle. And then what you wanna do at home once you're done injecting, and uh, you don't wanna reuse the same needle, you'll get um, a bag of needles to use for your treatment that should last you roughly about 10 weeks. You wanna take the needle and dispose of it properly. If you don't have a sharps container at home, what I recommend to patients is use an old milk jug or hard laundry detergent container to put your used needles in. Um, and that is it. The medication, it is a refrigerated medication. It is light sensitive. So it is in a brown bottle and it is wrapped all the way around with white paper. So uh, put it back in the fridge until your injection next week.